This is a lesson about past, past perfect in Farsi. First, we are going to talk about how to form a past perfect verb in Farsi. So, first, uh, you need to form the uh, pa uh, past participle of uh, the verb you want to make it uh, to pr uh, past perfect. For example, we have the verb raftan. So, The, the, past, uh, the past participle of raftan is rafte. Then you need to conjugate uh, the past participle with uh, past tense of the verb to be, which is uh, the past tense is budan, budam. So you conjugate it rafte budam. If I write because raft it doesn't change at all the first part so rafte budam i had gone rafte budi you had gone rafte bud he or she had gone Rafte budim. We had gone. Rafte budid. You had gone. Plural. And rafte budand. They had gone. Plur uh, third person uh, uh, plural. So as you can see, it's uh, regular and uh, it's very easy to form it. Let's look at another example. Neveshtan to write. So, in order to form a past perfect, we just need to have uh, the past participle of the verb neveshtan, which is neveshte. Neveshte. And then conjugate it with the past tense of the verb to be. Neveshte budam. نوشته بودم نوشته بودی نوشته بود I had written you had written uh, he or she had written نوشته بودیم we had written نوشته بودید you had written plural and نوشته بودند they had written Third person plural. نوشته بودم نوشته بودی نوشته بود نوشته بودیم نوشته بودید نوشته بودم. Another example, for example, گفتن means to say. First past participle گفته. Then conjugate it with the verb to be. The past tense. گفته بودم گفته بودی گفته بود گفته بودیم گفته بودید گفته بودن. I had said. You had said. She or he had said. Uh, then we had said, you had said, and they had said. Now let's talk about the usage of the past perfect. Let me leave this example here. So past perfect uh, is about an action. If we say that this is the present time. It's about two actions, in fact, that they have happened in the past, but one preceded the other one. For example, we are in, there are two actions. One has happened here, the other one here. The past perfect one is the one that has happened in the uh, further past. So, for example, Neveshte Budam has happened here. And uh, let's look at example, some examples. وقتی به خانه رسیدم آنها 
دن رفته بودند When I arrived at home When I arrived home They had gone So first uh, I arrived at home here In the past I arrived Residam But they here had gone Their action was before my action So I arrived but they had gone The usage of uh, past perfect in Farsi and in English uh, Is pretty much the same There, uh, there are some uh, slight uh, differences But you can uh, say that uh, they are pretty much the same So let's look at another example پیش از شما آنجا رسیده بودم So you say that before you I had arrived there So it means that before you arrived Before you arrived here in the past, I had arrived in the further past. So it's about two actions. One uh, both happen uh, in the past, but one is before another one. So before you arrived, you arrived in the past, but I had arrived before you. So this is the, the uh, usage of uh, past perfect in Farsi. That was the lesson about how to form past perfect and the main usage of past perfect in Farsi.